Hello there, I'm doing a little video today on this uh, Tataki MM27. Uh, it's a matcha. Um, nothing fancy, no meter with it. Um, I've seen the YouTube videos on this, but most of them are just unboxing it and they're not using it. So I thought I'd actually put this thing for its paces and give it a go. And uh, I'm using the CRT. Uh, CRT there and it's got an SWR meter built in which is pretty accurate because I've used this uh, external meter and it's exactly the same so they've got a very good SWR meter on these uh, radios so I'm going to unpack this and see what it's like inside which is difficult with one hand So, this is a good little radio actually, I've had it for a while now and uh, it, it does the job. You've got your frequency, the only thing I will say is the band, when you press the band you've always got your finger in the way so you can't see it. And I've got big fat fingers so I suppose that doesn't really help me. Um, but this is the actual thing. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be to be honest. That doesn't matter as long as it works. And that's it. I was hoping it would have two. Oh, it's got a couple of holes there, so I suppose you could put a screw or something through it, have it sort of up under there somewhere. And the idea is to uh, tune it and get your SWR down. So we'll put this through its paces and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Hi right, guys, we're back. And the SWR, that's old John. Here up, so if you can see this. Well, oh, that was a lot higher than that before. If I go down to channel one, that'll be probably near enough non existent, I'd imagine. Yeah, about the same. Channel 40, 1.2. bad as I say I just tweak this little thing here there's nothing on that say antenna here transmitter there you just I just put basically the aerial in there and the uh, I don't suppose it matters because it's just literally going round isn't it so yeah that's it and it works pretty well um, I tuned the aerial best I could um, but it was still a little bit high up on 40 so I've managed to knock it down so it has made a difference so I can recommend those, those little uh, Zataki MM27s. They're quite handy to uh, to bring your SWR down. Obviously it's best if you can try and do it on the aerial, but sometimes that's not always possible. haven't tried it on 10 metres yet, because I do use 10 metres on this as well, because I'm an amateur. Uh, but I'm sure it will bring it down. It says uh, it'll cover that part of the band. So there you go. And the phone's going off just at the right time. Hello. Okay guys, uh, catch you again. hope you found this video interesting. As uh, so I say, it's a, if you can't get your swar down, it's always good to have something like this in line. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper than buying the ones with the meters all built in. Because I've got a meter on the radio, which is good enough. Okay, catch you again. Bye for now.